And right off the top tonight, a bus driver was killed and several students are recovering tonight from injuries when their bus rolled over early this morning. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. It happened in Benton County on Highway 72 near Ashland, Mississippi. That's about 60 miles southeast of Memphis. The coroner just telling Local 24 News tonight that the bus driver had a sudden heart attack. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broder is live at Labonner Children's Hospital for tonight's top story. And Brad, how are those injured students doing this evening? Well, Katina and Richard, the good news are four of those students are expected to be released today, and the other four are expected to be okay, but they may have to stay a day or two here at Le Bonner Children's Hospital. In Benton County, meanwhile, district leaders are mourning the loss of that bus driver, Chester Cole, who we're told worked for the district for five years. Just keep everybody in thoughts and prayers. David Lloyd remained rattled this morning after his stepdaughter and stepson, Haley and Nathan Williams, were injured in today's crash in Benton County. While doctors released Nathan this afternoon, Lloyd said the impact broke Haley's jaw, ankle, and leg in two places. I'm just going to give her a great big old hug and tell her I'm glad she's all right. The bus rollover on Highway 72 happened after Benton County Coroner Larry Hobson said driver Chester Cole suffered cardiac arrest and died at the scene. He's one of the most dependable drivers we have in, in the district. And um, like I said, he's a very hard working man. Eight teenage students at Ashland High School will rush to Memphis and Le Bonner Children's Hospital. Four had to be airlifted. We just last week had some disaster training, so it was good timing. We'd all been talking about disaster response already. Doctors say while four students will likely need to stay overnight, they admit the situation ended up better than first feared when the trauma team's pagers went off this morning. There is a sense of relief that the patients um, are not more critically injured. Now, again, those eight students are expected to be okay after coming here this morning to Le Bonner Children's Hospital. Despite that, doctors here said this was the most serious bus crash they've dealt with in the last couple of years. Reporting live in Memphis's Medical District, Brian Broder's Local 24 News. All right, Brad, thank you very much. We first broke this story, of course, on our local Memphis app. Download it from the Apple Store or Google Play to receive all breaking news updates as they're happening.